last year, I did a video titled The FIFA 21 Scam That You Don't Know About. And I brought to light of a thing that's been going on for several years, and it absolutely stunned people, the fact that it's still happening, okay? Of course, I'm talking about the FIFA 22, or just FIFA Legacy Edition. This is a specific FIFA game, which is on the Nintendo Switch. I don't even know why they even bother doing the Nintendo Switch, because, guess what? They did it again. The cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Go down to u7buy.com. Link is down below in the description. And make sure to use code VISA at checkout for 5% off. Since FIFA 18, EA have made the exact same game. And in each FIFA, it says this tagline saying FIFA XX Legacy Edition features the same gameplay innovation from FIFA the previous year without any new development or significant enhancements. Okay, let me just show you this. So it says here. Since FIFA 22, it features the same gameplay innovation as FIFA 21, without any new development or significant enhancements. Then this one, from 21 to 20, and then from this one, from 20 to 19, you get the gist of it, right? This is a scam that EA have done for four or five years, and people still buy it, and it's sadly mainly young kids, and like the parents of young kids that doesn't know what's going on, that they just basically, they don't actually look online to see what's new, they don't really care, it's like, oh, it's FIFA, I'll buy Jimmy, you know, 12 year old Jimmy that's got a Nintendo Switch and doesn't own an Xbox or something like that, because that does happen a lot for some people, especially in other countries, in Asia and parts of Europe, South America, they may have a Nintendo Switch, but they may not actually have a PS4 or an Xbox One, this is a very common thing, so people can just buy this and it is the exact same game. I mean, I'm gonna show you some FIFA 22 gameplay. Look at this gameplay. Can you tell? Can you tell that this is pretty much the same thing as what we got from back in FIFA 18? Now you may say, yeah, but like this gameplay is different to nowadays. Okay, because it's on Nintendo Switch ones on the Xbox, um, you know, Series X, and I get that completely. Let me just compare you a side by side of FIFA 22 gameplay to FIFA 18. There you go, boom. Okay, FIFA 18 gameplay um, directly compared to FIFA 22. It's the exact same game, but with a literal roster update and um, new kits. That's it. That's literally, it's the exact same game. The Korean mode's the exact same. Like, I can't actually believe this. Look at how dumbed down it is. It's so dumbed down. And I get it, it's a Nintendo Switch. But tell me, why are EA not at least trying to put some features on it? Like, features that was back in the game, back in FIFA 20, isn't on this game. Any feature that you can name that's been new to Korean mode in the last four years, it's not on the Nintendo Switch. And it never has been for the last four years, it's the exact same experience, other than the fact that it looks like it's the same menu. Okay, so they gave you, a, you know, the new menu that's from the actual FIFA to make it look like it's a different game. For example, last year you were able to actually change place positions and do like an in-depth training. That's not a thing. Also, for example, simulating games, proper detailed simulations. That's not a thing. Create a club. Obviously, that's not a thing. They, they do have the Champions League licensing and also, I think, Europa League. So, I guess there, there's something there. I mean, look at the, how the transfers are. Of course, they have no animations. Of course, they don't. You know, the animations, when you go to go make a signing, it's just like what it used to be back in FIFA 14. But another question that you're all still begging to ask here. Do they have FIFA Ultimate Team? They do. You won't believe what I'm saying here, but they have the FIFA 19 pack animation in this game. They've got the FIFA 19 pack animation. Look at it. I'm not lying, the record tab is still there, like what it do no longer is anymore. They still have the record the same way, they still have the menus in the exact same way. The pack up it animation is literally a mixture of the FIFA 19 animation, but then when you actually go into the actual pack itself, it's like FIFA 18 where the, where the cards are at the bottom. Because in 19 they had the actual different tabs. So, how do you have a FIFA 19 animation, but then it goes to a FIFA 18 animation where the packs actually lay itself out? I can't. I don't know how they pulled this one off. You think that's bad? Do they have things like division rivals? No. They don't even have division rivals. They don't have rivals. It's, it's, they have online seasons, single player seasons, single player tournaments. These are things that's not been in the game since since 19. I just can't believe they are actually using the FIFA 19 pack animation. And just look how pathetic it is. It's not even, it's the day one animation. It's even got like some pathetic pack in the, in the middle that opens up, which... It's just, I, I can't believe that. And then they actually, oh my god, it looks so bad. If you miss my club, then they've got my club. At least they got my club, right? Because that's not a thing we should have nowadays. Just look how stretched it is. Do they have the new stadium customizations at least? Or the new stadium hubs that was back in, I believe, 21? No. They've got online tournaments, by the way. They've got DKTs. 
They've got daily knockout tournaments and there's FIFA. And the best part is, on like the tabs where like they try to promote like the new promo, like informs or whatever else, right? They cannot even be asked to make the text like actually like downsized, like it actually fits in. It doesn't like they just don't even be bothered. The text isn't even in place for most tabs. I cannot believe just how pathetic this is. Of course, there's no preview packs. They have the search of players from your main team, like as you used to. They've got my club as you used to, and everything's in the same place as you thought it would be if you were still playing FIFA 19. And again, you want to see gameplay? This is the gameplay. This is what you get. And just the ball physics. Is, I mean, I get this Nintendo Switch, so it should be a bit more arcade like, and it should be more arcade like to be fair. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to mention when this was first dropped, it was still £34.99 or $39.99. Um, nowadays, it's now actually $19.99. So I think it's like 50 15 quid, 14 out of 9 potentially, um, which is good. Um, they actually made it a bit less than what they usually do. I think they made it like £10 cheaper than what they did in previous years. Still doesn't make it any less of a joke. The fact they even do this in first place is still disgusting. Um, I've seen IGN give it a 2 out of 10, and each year they just keep giving it an extra um, minus 1 until they sort it out. I don't get why they even bother trying to put this out. At least try and make something look like it's new. It's the exact same game as 19, but literally has a different menu and roster and kits. That's it. And they charge people almost, to be fair to them, almost full price. It's about 75%, 80% of what full price is for a game which is the same since three years, since three, four years ago. But hey, at least they tell you if you scroll down low enough, um, which most people want, most kids, most parents want. So there you go. This is still a thing. And I can't believe it, okay? Tell me your thoughts down below. If you're a Nintendo Switch player, God bless your soul. I, I'm I, I'm so sorry that you guys are being disrespected like this. You know, like, it's a big market, Nintendo, especially in Asia. It's a very big market. So I just can't believe how much you're just slapping in the face. You know, maybe microtransactions just aren't a thing. Actually, is it a thing? Come on, can you buy FIFA? Oh, yes, you can. Of course you can buy FIFA points. What a silly thing of me to say. Of course you can buy FP. Why wouldn't you? So, yeah, um, this is still happening. <sighs> for God's sake, this is actually pathetic. I'll see you guys next time for another video. And stay safe. <laughs>